In a remote village bordering the forest, a concerned villager noticed a giant elephant struggling to walk and limping. Alarmed by the sight, he observed that the elephant's anus area had become swollen and reddish. Realizing the severity of the situation, the villager promptly informed the nearby wildlife officers about the distressed elephant. Without hesitation, the veterinary surgeon gathered his team and rushed to the location in order to aid the suffering creature. The team arrived to find the elephant slowly moving, hindered by its condition. Understanding the importance of conducting a thorough examination, they decided to sedate the elephant for its own safety. With precision and care, they carefully darted the elephant with a tranquilizer gun. As the dart struck its body, the elephant reacted with anguish and took a few steps towards the forest. Eventually, it stopped near a familiar muddy pit where it sought solace to alleviate its pain. Now recumbent while standing, the team cautiously approached the elephant. As an additional safety measure, they tied a rope around one of its legs, and then they proceeded to examine the injured animal, discovering a healing wound on its forelimb in addition to the severe abscess in the anal area. The swollen and reddish anus indicated the gravity of the wounds. The veterinary surgeon prioritized initial treatments and swiftly administered antibiotics, anti-inflammatory drugs, and ivermectin to the elephant. The antibiotics were crucial in bolstering its immunity in order to heal the infection and prevent the inflammation from spreading to the inner body parts. With the initial treatment completed, the team resumed their examination of the anal area. What they encountered was tragic. The painful abscess had prevented the elephant from straining to pass stool, resulting in a buildup of solid, fibrous species within the rectum due to dehydration. The poor creature had endured unimaginable pain, but fate had brought it face to face with this dedicated group of wildlife officers. Undeterred by this distressing sight, the officers quickly devised a plan to remove the hardened stools. Wearing gloves, one officer gently inserted their hand into the rectum and began removing the feces. The unwavering dedication displayed by these wildlife officers in the face of such adversity is truly commendable. Despite the strong odor emanating from the feces and the infected wound, they approached this task with kindness and care, providing immense relief to this suffering giant as his rectum gradually emptied.
Are you Once all the feces were removed, the team focused on treating the wound surrounding the abscess, which had become infected and infested with maggots. First, they cleaned the abscess with saline, followed by thorough disinfection. Using forceps and cotton swabs, they meticulously cleansed the wound, removing any necrotic tissues. Finally, a mixture of povidone iodine and negacent was applied to the wound and all the injured areas, including the forelimb, were externally treated with antiseptic spray. <laughs> Every possible measure was taken by the wildlife officers to save the life of this suffering elephant. The relief evident in the elephant's demeanor after being relieved of the accumulated feces was heartening. However, the road to recovery is far from over. This elephant will require continued antibiotic treatment until this abscess is fully healed. With today's operation concluded, the officers left the forest, hopeful to return the following day.
मल तपर Let us join together in prayer for the swift recovery of this innocent giant. The dedication displayed by this veterinary surgeon and the entire team is truly immeasurable. They went far above and beyond the call of duty, demonstrating an intimate love and compassion for these majestic creatures.